the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> is May 6, 2022. It is 2.16 a.m. Today is Archie's third birthday. I was looking for my old video, birthday video that I did for him so I could post it on my community board. I can't find it. Uh, but anyway, I'll do that later, but at least I want to get the recording out of the way. All right, so this is my back end. I think the number of subscribers remain the same. 302, 14 cents. All right, let's see here if it matches. I know it's going to change later. It matches. Okay. So let's go on Twitter, see what's going on. Uh, <laughs> that's Joran, who's putting Archie's birthday. Okay, hey, Sussex Squad, it's Archie's birthday. So let's get his online birthday party started with a virtual dance party and soul train line. <laughs> I'll go first. Let me see what some of the squads are doing have posted okay so this is the online party that's going on people are there <laughs> a chicken oh, i love this soul train smoosh okay dancing oh my lord <laughs> oh, baby oh my god okay uh youtube my black this because of that little boy the way he dance this is nice yeah, Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> this is nice. I like that one. Okay, so this is the squad dancing because of Archie's party. All right, so let's start with my list because today I do not have the computer. And uh, yesterday I was able to do a lot while my husband was out. He was in the office. So we're going to cover, let's see, one, two, three three topics and the rest will be on my other channel 
Okay, I have poetry and motion. That's how I sort of um, titled it. And I have what four tweets that are somewhat related, but not fully. But mostly the first one, which is that one. Uh, receipt. I have two on that. Air versus spare. Okay, only one. So as a total of seven tweets. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, imagine that delightful moment at night when after meeting the royal family for the first time, he put Andrew, Edward, Charles, etc. Harry turned in bed to his intelligent, articulate, politically aware, well-read and cultured wife, Megan, and asked, quote, well, what do you think of them? <laughs> End quote. <laughs> The emoji that he put the rolling eye and there's the laugh but let's not forget princess diana also said at the beginning when uh, she was dating charles they were very nice to her okay it's after they got married then thing went sour she said it i'll put the video right now so you're being what pushed by family yeah they? my family looked great and so did my friends and so did um Charles's family. They liked me. They were very good to me. <clears throat> when I was a guest. What's that mean? We used to change when I was a, a daughter and my positions changed. Alright, so let's read some of the comment. Yep, there she is, Megan Marco. And there she is. Okay, the British royal family, especially the senior royals, are very afraid now because people love the Queen. Uh, Why is it BF? Okay. Uh, okay. All right. The British royal family, especially senior royals, are very afraid now because people love the Queen before anybody, everybody eyes. Or is it BF? I guess before everybody eyes were open to see how wicked and evil the royal family are. So, uh, Charles and William are going to face the music when Betty is gone. Big problems ahead for them. I can't wait to see it. Okay, so that abbreviation throws me off. Okay, she was like, shame. I couldn't meet your mom because the rest is trash. Then Harry said, well, you have no idea and that's why we have to go. They escape and they live happy ever after. That's the fishbowl. This definitely sums up everything yeah it is unbelievable before nobody knew this is the way they were and uh, now people know how they are okay when in the movie the couple escaped just before the house blows up <laughs> <laughs> and there they are man that little boy each time i look at him i can't believe how big he has gotten yep Okay, <clears throat> later I'll put some videos of what I did of him um, last year. Okay, to be fly on the wall, poor girl was probably in shock. <laughs> Perfect description of the Duchess of Sussex. Okay, she kissed him and said, quote, They may be the Manson family, but they are still your family and I love you. End quote. <laughs> she never met them all at the same time, because if she did, we all wouldn't be here today. That's a very good point. Yeah. That's a very good point because m most of the time people tend to feed on, on each other. So if one start acting like a freaking uh, diva toward her, the rest will be the same. But if they are by themselves, most likely they'll be nice. Harry did say something like that in his uh, uh, engagement. They, ne they didn't meet each other. They had to look at their calendar. Uh, what term did you use? Diaries to arrange things. Have you you've met each other's families? I imagine. Yes, his family's been so welcoming and... and You've met quite a few of them, actually. I have, on both sides of his family, his mom's yeah. side as well, which has been really important to me too. But um, yes, the family has been great and over the past year and a half, we've just had really nice time getting to know them and progressively helping me feel a part of, of not just the mm -hmm. institution, but also part of the family, which has been really, um, really special. Trying to track them down and make sure that they're around at the same time that she's popping in without telling too many people. And uh, <laughs> so we've managed, we've actually done incredibly well um, to make sure that you've met all the, all the key people. All right. She never met them all at the same time, because if she did, we all wouldn't be here today. She's too smart to be taking like that. Likely they are 
they all agreed to be on the best behavior to appear inclusive, confident that her father will oblige them. We all know how that turned out. Yeah, imagine the response that went through her head. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, what does this? <laughs> People just laugh. <laughs> oh, I see what this. She's laughing here, and then there's a serious face as she stepped back. There's the laugh. Why on a beautiful, sexy, intelligent, charismatic wife make Hazard going for round two, three, four? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the squad are crazy. Uh, never mind his trashy family. Okay, trash. That's in French. Megan, do you want the diplomatic answer or the honest answer? <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, I didn't know I need to laugh so hard this morning. Will that be the world family meeting where the wretch of Kent wore the racist Blackmore brooch? Yeah, she was real sorry. <laughs> okay, she will answer politely and think about the jealousy. Uh, she saw in certain couples' eyes, but at that time, there was, there was, the real thing probably was never being shown. The the jealousy and all of that was not shown. All right? It's after during the marriage and all of that, especially after the tour, that's where the jealousy came out. Okay, she get up and pack her bags. She turned to Heavy and said, "You coming?" Now nah, that's after all those nonsense that was going on, uh, you know. They planned their escape. I have a video on that. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. All right. Okay, my girl trend every single day. Megan Marco, you will always have these people in a chokehold. There's Megan, a picture of her. Okay. Is the stillness, the natural grace and beauty, the intelligent, the compassion, and the focus. You can't hurt her, but you can't touch her, if you know what I mean. Without even saying a word or being seen. Her power, lol. The Duchess of Sussex, Duchess of Sussex. Okay, why is she trending? Okay, is she trending again? <laughs> People were asking. Um, oh, yesterday, what was going on yesterday? Where they put her name? Yeah, they put her name in a police report. So, uh, late in the afternoon, I was able to do that video once I saw that going on. I meant to put it live the same day because, uh, uh, Twitter, uh, I'm saying Twitter, YouTube uh, did not give me any problem, but I fell asleep while I was uploading it. And then by the time everything is finished, it was like 9, 10 p.m. So I just put something on community board and said, you know, you guys will see it tomorrow, like around 12. Okay. Oh, why is she trending? Is she trending? She's so done smart and beautiful. How that Netflix deal going, sugar? I mean, you could always laugh, but guess what? <laughs> her husband is still working so don't worry it's going well just a cartoon got canceled because all cartoon for this year got canceled it doesn't mean that they can do something different or a different show now go cry someplace else that's for sure all right Le i mean you know they are watching if they were not paying attention to her how will they know all of this all right let's go to the next tweet you know they are watching her okay Okay, I don't know. You search the people's prints in Google and Harry is the only guy that comes up. <laughs> really? Let's look. People's prints. Uh, there it is. No, let's start with the, the people's prints. Sometimes I like to check them to see what I have. The people's prints. Oh, that is true. Harry, the people's prints. <laughs> uh, image. Let's see. Yeah, there's that. Well, the other one has to be attached with them. Okay, the people's prince. That's this here. And you have Prince, the musician who passed. Mm-mm-mm. There's Harry. That is true. The people's prince. Back to Twitter. Let's see here. Prince Harry is the only true people's prince. I have to say that people love Harry more than the queen. People like the queen because she is the head of the firm. No big deal about that woman. After the Oceanic Tours, Harry was classified as the most loved royal, followed by the queen. Okay, it is what it is. Let's see here. Okay, Diana, Princess of Wales. Diana, Princess of Wales, was a member of the British, okay, the background of Princess Diana. So this is that. All right, let's see the next one. Why Prince Harry is being dubbed the People's Prince. His Royal Highness felt honored to pay tribute to her work and meet some of the people his mother met 30 years ago. Social media users then commented on the page calling him the moniker writing, quote, the people's prince, Archie's daddy, who we love you so much. That's 2019. Why Prince Harry is being called the people's prince. Interesting. 
who is the people's pets there's the search let's go um all right let's see here i noticed that harry is listed first as princess dies children what are you all trying to do to the other brother okay i oh, love that pig the people's prince has always been prince harry our guy but i see some people are truly in their feeling google has spoken okay i'm so touched by the way prince harry cuddled the baby yep and look at him <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Then the Avengers try to remind people that Egg is the future king. The People's Prince title belongs to Montecito. The only thing that the royalist Avengers can say about William and Kate is that they're going to be future future king and queen consort. Nothing more. He is and there's no question about it. Not even up for debate. Okay, where is the lie? The insecurity them other girlies are showing they are in tears. <laughs> there's a laugh. Oh well, the Avengers will unsubscribe from Google tomorrow. <laughs> How could you? I mean, but anyway, I was thinking, how could you unsubscribe to Google? It's only a search engine. Okay, it's because it is a title given by the people about someone who is genuine, no need to force it like some others. Prince Harry, people's prince. Okay, Prince Harry, there's that, I like that GIF. Google fix it that way. People love and adore his great grand uncle Edward VIII and egg grandfather Edward VII when they were Prince of Wales, also no problem. We know the truth. Okay, I've never seen the picture before. I see Diana and him here. Okay, he is indeed the people's prince. Okay, no lie detected. Google don't lie. There's this. Alright, so this is from what is that? Harry the People's Prince, Hutching Chris. Okay, there's that. The next one. Okay, son of the late Princess Anna, the most famous woman on earth, and Prince Charles, the next king and brother. Oh, this one. Who is People's Prince? Okay, why Harry is being dubbed the People's Prince. There it is again. Okay, let's go to the next tweet. And that will be the last tweet regarding poetry and motion. There's that. Okay, a natural rock star. Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex. No caption needed. Okay, 42 seconds. <laughs> The other one, the kids don't even want to be next to her. They're like, peace out. All right, let's see here. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, play polo in California to support various charities while Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, cheered on. Okay, that was during the polo match. I'm not going to read any article. Okay, Prince Harry and Meghan Marco, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, crowned world most interest royal of 2021. The Sussexes have been searched for 64% more than all other royals combined what according to a new study wow this is powerful okay prince harry the duke of sussex on megan fatherhood and uh, how the invictus game changed his life okay the powerblog.com okay better up the coaching startup that hired prince harry the duke of sussex nearly triple his valuation last values at 1.7 billion dollars employees wellness startup better up raises funding at a 4.7 billion dollar valuation as companies try to coach and uh, all right better up the coaching startup that harry prince harry nearly triple is valuation last value at 1.7 okay so that's the same thing they repeat queen of kindness megan marco the duchess of sussex handed over her coat to the mom carrying a newborn baby to help keep the baby warm due to sudden change of temperature that was during the invictus okay and i covered that uh did that weird guy rushing megan to leave yeah i mean they have a time frame but you could understand twitter wallahala co okay let's see here and for that reason 
I now know why she did everything to get rid of Megan. Miss Lady had been faking it for so long that I would be mad too. <laughs> you know what she's talking about the jealousy that's over there it's unbelievable that is what scared the hell out of ken and Doolittle katie that and the reception of megan got in australia yeah they both worked very hard william was an emergency okay so why people are not flacking onto them like they do to harry and megan okay we know they do all of that what about but let's read they both work because I want to read this so I could read the two comments that's there. They both worked very hard. William was an emergency helicopter pilot and helped save many people. Okay. Catherine works very hard and has many events to attend to. No one could call them lazy. But how come her... Oh, okay. I need to put that thing where she hasn't shown up for eight years. Thank you. Nice to see you again. I was just looking at... She's been a while since I last visited, so... Um, yeah, definitely when, when things get back to normal, I'd love to come and say hello to the team and everyone down there as well. I think it was 2012 that you were, were last year. No. Uh, it only seems like yesterday, Graham. It shows you how quickly time goes. Okay, I'll put that in my video. Okay, so you show up for your work for only 40 minutes, shake hands, fake smiling, photoshop for PR, cut ribbons, etc. Is that how you live your life? I hope you don't collect UK taxpayers money too. Someone who go to people work to shake hand, that is work. Do you know how many people have saved their lives? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right, William worked as a major pilot for two years until 27, longer than two years. Okay, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, let's go to the next one, Receipt. Okay, that's how the title of these two tweets that I have. Let's see here. That invisible contract that Harry and Meghan spoke about seems to extend beyond the media. This I showed on my video yesterday. That was what was going on yesterday. Police report put Meghan's name on something that Kate did. Okay? So I did a video on that. This is a minute. Okay? Has Meghan used... All right, let's start all over. Was Meghan used as a scapegoat for Kate in March 2021? 20, uh, ah, it's going too fast. All right. In March 2021, Kate Middleton went without a mask to attend a vigil in the memory of Sarah Everett. Okay. There's Kate here. Oops, there's something here. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, visited the memorial of Sarah Everett in London on Saturday. Okay. So there's her thing here. No mask. Everybody else is wearing masks. Okay. Kate got lots of positive PR on the front pages. Okay, these, this is, these are the headlines that were going on. Okay, Kate, I know what it's like. There's all of that. Okay, we're on the road to freedom. But other women were not too happy. She's in the course of her duties. She was working, uh, so uh, uh, of course, in in that. In really, that it was legal yeah. for her because you think she was there for work. <laughs> okay, but guess whose name they put and write up the police report. Can you imagine this? This is unbelievable. A Metropolitan Police summary of the force much criticized action at a March 2021 Virgil and Clapham comment for Sarah Everett mistakenly referred to an appearance by the Duchess of Sussex, a copy of a document shows. This is unbelievable. The report says that the Duchess of Sussex attended the bandstand at approximately 1715 reported in the media. My God. They were willing to lie to protect other members of the family but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband okay so that was during the Oprah interview as we keep on moving forward we're seeing more and more of this is happening her words are coming true this is unbelievable and the wo whole world is watching and then they're still doing their nonsense okay let's see here 
May the ancestors watch over and protect Megan, her husband and babies from the evil of all those who wish them ill, will and my those poison thought return to their senders and afflict ten times the pain on them and those they hold dear. Yep. We need to keep on praying to our ancestors. Okay, Ibu, may the universe guard over them and keep them safe always. Okay, the cosplay is getting more and more creepy. The woman will wear Megan's skin if she could. My goodness. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize this. That is true. Oh, my Lord. I'm telling you, the, the squad have an eye for those fashion things. Was Megan used as a scapegoat for Kate? This is, this is really scary. These people are crazy. <laughs> I like that dear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The hair, the eye makeup, the, the outfit copied item for item. Do her stylist think we're blind? This is so unhinged and embarrassing. She really has no personality or confidence in herself. I'd laugh if it wasn't so genuinely disturbing. Okay. I kind of scared. All right, well done, Pagan Trelawney, for this well-documented receipt. Megan was right. Quote, they lie to protect the others, but not tell the truth to us. End quote. I lost every ounce of respect for Kate. She kept quiet for other women to be bullied, vilified, and lied upon just to cover her incompetence. Okay, this is why I will never stop defending Megan. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, that is true. Okay, indeed, the government, can you imagine that? The whole freaking institution is after you, and then they want them to come in, meaning, what I mean, the whole institution, government, and uh, the royal family, are against you, and then that same institution want you to show up, and you have to tell them their, uh, their security, your security plan. What is this? This is freaking scary. Mm -mm -mm. The government tried to put pressure on Netflix regarding Charles and Camilla's portrayal in The Crown, yet did nothing when 72 female MPs wrote about the racist coverage of Meghan and the press. The contract is no longer hidden. Yeah, great video. These effing people, man. They are repugnant. The squad needs to get this amplified. It was always gruesome how Meghan has been treated and it never stopped getting worse. This was chilling. Our only hope is that British royal family only have soft power, which they are losing by the gallons daily. Thank God for that. We will rise. Yeah, I think people, some Brits are starting to see it. Many of them, it takes them a while. I guess my prayer will be let the blind see. We need to keep on doing that because these people are freaking lunatic. I still say we don't know what all was done to her while in that palace. The Oprah interview only addressed lies that they wanted clear up and thank God they spoke because they were not allowed to prior to leave. Okay, not even the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I think there was much, much more that went behind the scene. Okay, it's her autobiography, They Should Fear. Hi P, do you mind if we retweet? I mean, this is how, what you need to do. Okay, I've been looking to see if the British media royal right reported on it, but I haven't come across any. I mean, why would they want to uh, clear? I'm talking about the royal right, the British press. Who's been on it putting lies after that? You think they will clear that up? Okay, of course you can't retweet. The more the merrier. Okay, uh, piecing together the popping of Kate. I put her video on my video and I give her credit for it. Okay, piecing together the popping of Kate and the policing of Megan is a stroke of genius. Thank you. Okay, the scan walking in the cover photo, I didn't realize just how much she was copying Megan hair. The outfit is item for item. Copy, Jesus wept. Okay, the cruelty, racism, xenophobia, and hate, they made the right decision by leaving. Okay, this one is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. The glitter and glamour of being a princess, they're not seeing that. They're not seeing, mm. quite frankly, the kind of frugal, threadbare aspect of the existence. Tina, when you think of that couple now, and speaking to lots of people, you spoke to dozens of people for this book, um, do you think that they... Uh, can come back to the royal family? Do you think there's a way back for them? I mean, some of the things that you can't, you know, it, it feels like maybe it's, it's irreversible. It's come back to the royal family? It, they must be lunatic. After what they went through to get away, and as they get away, they were chasing them still? Hell no, I don't see anywhere. <laughs> Definitely, no. Nah. All right, let's see. It does at the moment, but I tend to feel 
there will be a desire to have the Sussexes back if something can be worked out where the Sussexes are happy and a role can be found that they can do. I think that really because I, uh, after the death of the Queen, there is going to be such a huge seismic public reaction. There's going to be, you know, a, a sense that, that uh, of, of tearing of the fabric of this country with the passing of the Queen, who for 70 years has been the only thing we know, she's on the money <laughs> even, um, that I think that uh, there will be a desire to have the Sussexes back just because they bring a connection to the younger uh, part of this nation. And but the brother, who is the future king, he's not acting on the best interest for the people. Okay, you see when he goes to engagement, majority of the time, he goes to where the old people are because he wants to get praise. But the only way I could see Harry goes back, and I've said this a very long time, is for him to run for office, not be part of the institution of uh, the royal family as a working royal. He will have to be elected and be chosen as prime minister. This is the only way. I've been saying this a very long time. This is my only thing I could think of. There's no way he's going to go back to working for the, uh, for the firm. You know, Harry was the most popular member of the royal family. And to have... <laughs> there she is. She's saying that. Who's the most ro uh, popular royal uh, after the queen? Uh, 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 a beautiful, you know, dynamic uh, uh, woman of color at his side was actually a fantastic thing. Uh, for, for, for for Britain, it really was. <laughs> and there was a sense of great loss actually there in the palace that, that it, it didn't work out. It's too bad out of jealousy they chase him out. I'm surprised she's saying that's the truth. Yeah, that was a huge plus for the royal family and the country as a whole. But look, it turned completely 360. They're not even in the same realm anymore. Uh, the question is whether Meghan will ever want to come back. I was going to say, can you see Harry may be coming back, but Meghan it's hard to, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine Meghan will want to come back after everything that's passed. It, exactly. But, you know, time passes and it's quite possible that this, this entertainment deals that they've done are going to not be as glittering as, you, uh, you know, as they, as they expect. Could you see a situation where Harry comes back and Meghan does not? But I, I guess I, I think no. I, mean, I, I think that this marriage. I mean, I think you know that this is Harry is devoted to her and to, to the children. So I don't. I don't. Yeah, she's right. She is right because if they're not accepting her, he's not coming back. That is right. I can't believe I agree with her. How it could happen. But you know, the fact is that if you're a member of the royal family, you can be as boring as you like forever, and you're still going to be at the top of the bill. If you're in the entertainment world, you have to earn, a, you know, your place in it by having a hit, and that's very hard to but, but the next hit's going to be the memoirs. <laughs> let's see, does she has more? Okay, let's see. This Tina woman is on crack. Okay, she needs to get off whatsoever that she is taking. What is it? Is she aware that Megan is an educated woman who earned millions of dollars before meeting her husband? Tina is delusional, deranged. Okay, did I miss something here? Because I sort of agree with some of the things. There's no way. Harry is definitely devoted to Megan. What else did she say? Uh, I'm, I don't want to play it again. Her book isn't selling. Ignore her. Okay, she's on crack and high crack for that matter. The British royal family and their coonies forget they are not the only one who can see through the BS. No wonder uh, they're losing the Commonwealth. People are fed up with their, what is it, with their S shadow. I guess Sussex shadow. Do they really think this is hurting Megan? It's just show they, their playbook, UK, this is your tax at work. Okay, everything Megan said in the Oprah interview was true, definitely. Okay, I never doubt her one bit because she has no reason to lie. Not as if we can see it ourselves. Okay, one, the whole thing just stink to high heaven. It just got to stop. More people in power need to say or do something, surely, definitely. I agree with this person. I think the Sussexes are waiting till the Queen passes. And if things keep going as they have out, they will tell it all. <laughs> could be. Yeah, more like Kate made Megan cry licked. Ma licked it on tabloid that Megan made her cry. That's a French. Every single thing that Harry and Megan said was true and it's playing out right now in front of our eyes. I just have this feeling that there's more that wasn't said in the interview. What did they do to our faith that when Harry and Megan are going to say something, they get so scared? Okay, well done as usual. Probably the Archie thing. That would be very uh, disturbing. Let me listen to that again. Of being a princess, 
they're not seeing that. They're not seeing, you, quite frankly, the kind of frugal, threadbare aspect of the existence. Who, when you think wait a second. The glamour, beginning. Who, what and glamour of being a princess. They're not seeing that. They're not seeing you, quite frankly, the kind of frugal, threadbare aspect of the existence. Who is she referring here? Is it Megan? This part I don't understand, but let's continue. That couple now, and speaking to lots of people, you spoke to dozens of people for this book. Um, do you think that they uh, can come back to the royal family? Do you think there's a way back for them? I mean, some of the things that you account, you know, it, it feels like maybe it's, it's irreversible, these, these rifts. It does at the moment, but I tend to feel there will be a desire to have the Sussexes back if something can be worked out where the Sussexes are happy and are welcome. I don't know. I have a feeling, yes, she's right on this one. They were gonna, the royal family gonna want her to come back, the Sussexes to come back. But there is absolutely no way Harry and Meghan are gonna go back to this BS. Okay? Because right now, the royal family uh, is not very well liked. In order for them to get positive uh, uh, coverage or for people to like them, they, the royal family will feel like the Sussexes will have to be there. But they already play their dirty work. So nobody's gonna uh, accept them. Well, I should not say nobody. Majority of people will not uh, accept them, will not like them. I'm not talking about the Sussexes, the, the royal family. All right? They thought they were the shit. You know, the, the Sussexes cannot live without them, this and that. Th this is why they strip them of everything, thinking that they will call back to them. Because without them, they cannot do anything. Meanwhile, you have Megan, a very self-made millionaire who's been working ever since she was a child. I think 11 or 12. Okay. So now that they're surviving and then the royal family is seeing in a negative way, there's a possibly a desire for them they're gonna want Megan and Harry to come back and then there is absolutely no way Harry and Megan will go back to this BS because nobody trusts anybody what happened is that the royal family play all of their cards so people know who they are Megan already read their BS so there's no way they're gonna come back but she's right in a way there's gonna be a desire for the Sussexes to come back but the Sussexes will not come back found that they can do. I think that really because I, uh, after the death of the Queen, there is going to be such a huge seismic public reaction. There's going to be, you know, a, a sense that, that uh, of tearing of the fabric of this country with the passing of the Queen, who for 70 years has been the only thing we know, she's on the money <laughs> even, um, that I think that uh, there will be a desire to have the Sussexes back just because they bring a connection to the younger uh, part of this nation and you know Harry <laughs> she's right also she is right but that she's talking in terms hypothetically speaking but there's no way the Sussex is gonna come back uh, they're gonna wish the royal family gonna wish for them to come back but it's not gonna happen it was the most popular member of the royal family and to have uh, a, a, a beautiful you know dynamic uh, a woman of color at his side was actually a fantastic thing uh, for, 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 for Britain, it really was. And there was a sense of great loss actually there in the palace that, that it, it didn't work out. No, the palace didn't feel like there is a loss. They play their card, their uh, racist behavior came out okay so it's after the fact knowing that people are not accepting them now they're probably thinking twice all right they didn't feel any loss they were more than happy to get them out of there okay look at this as recently as yesterday they're still using megan names in a negative way why they don't come out and stop it why they don't come out and stop it uh, the question is whether megan will ever want to come back i was going to say you can see harry may be coming back but Meghan it's hard to, it's hard back. to imagine it's hard to imagine megan will want to come back yeah she's not going to come back to this but, you know, time okay, uh, Megan just responded to this not too long ago with, uh, was it, was that dog uh, um, uh, patronage that she used to be part of and she gave it up. She is no longer a royal patron of it, but she says, you know, as a private citizen, she didn't say it like that, but as a private uh, citizen, she'll be more than happy to support them, but not as a royal family. Megan already told you she's not coming back to this BS. Okay, and she's not coming back to this BS. And it's quite possible that this, this entertainment deals that they've done 
are going to not be as glittering as you, as, you know, as they, as they expect. Could you see a situation where Harry comes back and Meghan does not? That I, I don't, no. I, I didn't admit, no. I, I think that this marriage, I mean, I think, you know, that this is, Harry is devoted to her and to, to the children. So I don't, I don't know how it could happen. I believe, I agree with her on that. If you're a member of the royal family, you can be as boring as you like forever and you're still going to be at the top of the bill. What if you're in the entertainment world, you have to earn, a, you know, your place in it by having a hit. And that's very hard to look up But the next hit's going to be the memoirs. And you know, home home for me now is is, is you know for the time being it's in, it's in the, it's it's in the states. states, and it really and it feels that way as well. We've been welcomed with open arms, yeah. um, and it's got such a great community up in Santa Barbara. So you feel like that's home more for you? Yeah. Is that weird to say? No, but I'm sure it'll become a thing. Can I ask you a very basic, personal question? Your family uh, at home, do you miss them? Um, yes, I think, look, especially over the last two years, for most people, have they not missed their family, right? The inability to be able to get home yeah. and see them. But do you miss your brother, your dad? Look, I mean, I'm, for me, at the moment, I'm here yeah. focused on these guys yeah. and these families and giving everything that I can, 120% to them, mm -hmm. to make sure that they have the experience of a lifetime. Yeah. That's my focus here, and then when I leave here, I get back and my focus is my family, who I miss massively. You got a, a whole restart. Mm -hmm. You have a whole new focus, a whole new nucleus. How does that land with you? Well, I think the focus is very much the same. Is I, it? Yeah, oh. certainly from, from, from my yeah. own, my wife's point of view. Yeah. We've now moved that life of service to the States and we'll continue mm -hmm. to do what we were doing before. So in that regard, Nothing's changed for us. Mm. It's just a little bit more complicated yeah. to have to sort of restart. Sure, you know what I mean? sure. From, from, a, from a blank canvas. Sure. How is your Wednesday? Like, how's life? I'm glad, you say, I'm glad you say it's a Wednesday rather than a Monday. <laughs> yeah. I, I still get, when well, I used to get, um, Sunday night blues. It's like, ugh, Monday morning again, here we go. So yeah, Wednesday is midweek. What's it like, though? It revolves around the kids as much as humanly possible. Yeah. Like, this whole working from home stuff is not all it's cracked up to be because it's really hard when your kids and you are in the same place. It's yeah. really hard to separate the work from them because they kind of overlap. So, I mean, Archie spends more time interrupting our zoom calls Does he? Um, the okay okay I don't, the last part i don't know but let's go to the next tweet that's regarding receipt okay there's that here eloquent stunningly beautiful inspiring empowering powerful ladies and gentlemen i present to you megan marco the duchess of sussex i think i have this somewhere but let's listen I want to oh, wait, wait. focus on a word. Uh, is it a conversation with Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, Fortune M uh, PW Summit. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, share her advice for speaking out on important issue. Okay. That you use that I use a lot, which is reckoning. We are we are really here. We are really facing it. Yeah. And I I just to prepare for this interview, I listened to a moving graduation speech that you gave. And you not only said Black Lives Matter, you said the names of the people that we've lost, the people that have been murdered. And I was <laughs> struck by the, the, the courage that it took, the effortless courage that it took to keep bringing these things forward, which you do. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to the moment of reckoning. You're not the only powerful woman, even in this, in this community, who has had a sitting president take a shot at you, mobs come at you, <laughs> powerful people, wow. um, powerful forces. Can you imagine that? That's some freaking power she has. When you listen to her saying all of this, this is some, it's very scary, but this is what makes someone an icon. That's what makes someone an icon who stand above all of this negativity and still standing up. I would say rise, like uh, that video that uh, V made, uh, still I rise try to take you down or try to to disparage your message mm. this is a tough time for people with power and platforms what is your best advice for other folks with stakeholders with um, a desire to weigh in on the important issues of the day to take those risks uh, carefully to to assess them correctly and then to weigh in yes i mean i think um it's about being authentic and if you look back at anything that I've said, it's really interesting because it often ends up, what ends up being inflammatory, it seems, is people's interpretation of it. But if you <laughs> listen to what I actually say, it's not controversial. 
<laughs> and um, and actually some of it is is reactive to things that just haven't happened, which is in some ways, I think you have to have a sense of humor about it, even though there is quite a bit of gravity and there can be a lot of danger in a misinterpretation of something that was never there to begin with. But damn, the way she worded her thought is absolutely a beauty to listen. She's saying here, like, I've said some stuff that's not really controversial. Okay. It's reality. When she's talking, people don't really listen to her words, but they quickly react to what she says without really processing it. And then most of the things that they're saying in reaction to her words didn't even happen yet. So this is the way she put it is excellent. But anyway, let's continue that again is a byproduct of what is happening right now for all of us. I would say the, the biggest thing and what I have always stuck to, you know, that high school graduation speech, I had done it a, a week or so before. I had pre-taped it for them. It was for, it was for high 17 year old girls, right? So the tone and the sentiment, while it was of course going to be a call to action, was certainly lighter than where we landed after the murder of George Floyd. I knew I couldn't use that tape and I, I really struggled, if I'm being honest, about what to say and I didn't sit down and write anything and I didn't ask anyone for help with how I should word this. I was just in tears thinking about it and I was explaining to my husband why I thought that it was so heartbreaking, certainly for me to be back in Los Angeles and it feeling so reminiscent to the state of of Los Angeles with the riots after the Rodney King beating. And the thing that she's saying here before the George Floyd murder, the current event, the mood of the country was in a different space. But now the current mood of the, of the situation, the current event that just happened, what she had already taped will not fit well to what was happening at the moment. So which means she will sound kind of uh, deaf tone or not aware of being alert of current event. So whatever uh, she had pre-taped weeks prior to George Floyd murder was a, in a different mood, probably lighter, uh, more cheery, more, uh, you know, completely different. But this time when the George Floyd thing happened, she had to change it because that wasn't the mood. People's mind were into, my goodness, this is what this is going on. This is how other people's treating other people. So she had to change it. So I sort of understand her. So for these girls to be graduating from high school, which should be a very celebratory time to be plagued with that unrest felt troubling to me. So I just spoke from the heart. And, um, hmm. wow. and that's probably why it doesn't look polished. And that's why it doesn't feel perfect and but that's also why it's authentic. And I think that is the takeaway that I have found is if you don't listen to all the noise out there and you just focus on living a purpose-driven life and you focus on <laughs> knowing what your own moral compass is, there are always going to be naysayers. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, I used to have a quote up in my room many, many- In other words, she's focused. She's focused on her um, objective. All right, that's what she's saying. She's focused on her objective. People's gonna deny her things, but she remained focused. Because, I mean, when you think, nobody will want you, I will not say nobody. The jealousy people, the derangers, will not just wanna give you the platform. You have to fight for the platform. And this is what makes you the icon, all right? Many moons ago, and it resonates now, perhaps more than ever, when you see the vitriol and noise that can be um, out in the world. And it's, it's by Georgia O'Keeffe, and it's, I've already settled it for myself. <laughs> so flattery and criticism go down the same drain, and I am quite free. What? And the moment... As she said that, all I'm thinking, there's that shield around her, and people throwing things at her, and then the things are just bouncing back to its senders. She's focused. She's focused. And this is why she's like, I'm not even on social media. I don't want to hear your nonsense because you're not uh, adding to the positivity to my goal. Instead, you're trying to rip me apart. So there's no reason for me to listen to you. My goodness. I s move it slightly back. So flattery and criticism go down the same drain and <laughs> I'm quite free. Mm -mm -mm. And the moment that you are able to be liberated from all of these other opinions of what you know to be true, 
then I think it's very easy to just live with truth and live with authenticity. And that wow. is how I, that's how I choose to move through the world. Wow. This is very powerful. Yeah, I mean, if you live your true life, I mean, the thing is that if you keep on lying, okay, you have to keep track of all of those lies in order to maintain that objective. But if you live your true life, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, it will easily come to you when someone asks you a question left and right about your truth. It will be easy for you to uh, respond to that. But if you're lying, you have to think, what did I say last time uh, that uh, get me out of the last nonsense that I did in order for me to keep going? Yeah. <laughs> when you look at Andrew, do all those lies that he was putting with the Virginia Gulfway thing, lies after lies, it become a burden where he has to run, stay next to his mom. Okay, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have donated to several number of organizations working to provide aid, including World Central Kitchen and HIAS, Help Ukra Ukrainian Family Settle. Okay, the Duke, okay, that's that. I'm not gonna read any of those uh, blogs. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, play polo in California to support various charities while Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, cheer on. Okay, Meghan Marco impact outland denim reach new height when Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, wore a pair of their brand's jean four times while on her tour in Australia and was able to create 46 new positions for trafficked women in the company. Okay, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, announced in Victor's Game 2025, location which will be a little closer to home for him and Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex. Okay, Prince Harry, that's going to be in Canada, by the way. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, Meghan on Meghan, fatherhood and how the Invictus Game changed his life. Okay, oh my goodness, that's a nice side-by-side uh, -side picture of them. Look at this, that same demeanor. Yeah, oh my goodness. How Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, childhood experiences with her mom, Doria Raglan, inspire her modern day charity work as an adult. <laughs> she was raised by a very powerful woman here. Yep, never heard her say a damn word with all of this pain that uh, uh, suffering Meghan was going. She was her only support. Queen of Kindness, Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, handed over her coat to the mom carrying a newborn baby to help keep the baby warm due to sudden change in temperature. That was during the Invictus. Uh, right, awesome. Remember that I have also shared, if that it's okay, thank you, sending this reminder our way, OMG, how could one person be beautiful, intelligent, authentic, eloquent, and compassionate at the same time? One person, she is everything. She has everything to be good, uh, to be a good leader, impressive woman. No wonder they hated her. Yeah, yeah. The, and the thing is that many of the quality that Megan has, I mean, some of them you, you can't replicate. But to be kind, they can't do that. They can't be kind. Okay, they're just going to compete with her. She's such an inspiration. Wow, eloquent. And this is why Harry was like, uh, he knows what he's doing. He's made some mistake, but this one, he knows he got it right. I mean, I sort of paraphrase it. As you saw me find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. I also know that you've come to know me well enough over all these years to trust that the woman I chose as my wife upholds the same values as I do, and she does. But what I remind him is that no matter what you want to be when you grow up, it's your character that matters most. And nothing would make his mum and me prouder than to see him have the character of what we see before us today. You. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. That wasn't possible. I've accepted this knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. But I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my family back from all I have ever known. To take, a, to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. Because this is so much bigger than just us. It has been our privilege to serve you and we will continue to lead a life of service. So in that respect, nothing changes. 
Together, you have given me an education about living. And this role has taught me more about what is right and just than I could ever have imagined. We are taking a leap of faith, so thank you for giving me the courage to take this next step. Next uh, titles that I'm going to cover is Air versus Pear. And that's the only tweet that I have, and that will be my last one. Okay, it usually goes back to Air versus Pear. William's proximity at one point similar appearance to Diana is really the only pool he has outside of his rank. When people refer to Harry as the people's prince or really even Diana's son, it is seen as taking away from William. <laughs> okay, and according... Uh, and Henry VIII usually have some really good conversation on uh, on Twitter. Many times, if not almost every videos that I create, I have some of her tweets. She's and anybody who's new to my channel and who are not aware, she has a YouTube channel that's called Henry VIII, same name as on Twitter. Okay, and according to the firm and the press that covers the family, that is absolutely not supposed to happen. Now that Harry has left as a senior working member and seemingly has, quote, taking, end quote, that uh, moniker with him, there is even more anger. They still think they own her. We joke a lot about how William has aged poorly, but I don't think we talk enough about how his younger physical similarities to Diana have been erased over time by the Windsor's gene. <laughs> As he has lost that obvious physical trigger to harken back to Diana, we have seen more headlines that try and force people to connect Diana with the Cambridges. Because, let's face it, or oh, LOL, they should face it, their behavior on its own does not do that. Okay, we could do a whole thread about Kate's Diana's co place moment. I still think even the choice to use the ring, a symbol of an incredibly unhappy marriage, was a choice. Wow. I don't think that he at the time, maybe they didn't realize because Harry was the one who gave him the ring. Because one of the things that uh, make uh, Harry choose, because I remember uh, that uh, uh, the person who used to work with Diana after Princess Diana passed and asked the boys to pick something from Princess Diana's uh, jewelry or something that will, that's dear to them. What is it? Harry choose the ring and William chose a, a watch okay but during uh, William's engagement when William mentioned he's gonna uh, propose to uh, to Kate Harry gave William the ring and said that would be something to remember the mother uh, on the throne but at the time I don't think any of them uh, felt like this was uh, uh, a cursed ring okay but the ring I think is somewhat cursed because there is absolutely no way uh, they have thought of that and Harry just dodged the bullet okay the insecurity of William is quite funny the firm the media the government are all behind him and yet I was too young for Diana and yet it's Harry I connect with because you can't force your way into someone's heart Th that is true difference is earned that is true Harry literally followed his mother's full step he continued to live a life inspired by her William is primarily all form and no substance definitely not Diana's substance his view on her aligned him as her heir to Charles Okay, is he following his father's footstep and all? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this, but this is that. Okay, his father's son. <laughs> Prince of heart, people's heart. Yep. Uh-uh-uh. Yep. It gives him a purpose. Okay, the only thing I have to say to those weirdos on Clown Island. You make me sick. Okay, he did lose Diana. Good looks fast. <laughs> that is true. Once he started Rose Garden, Diana snatched her good looks from him. <laughs> uh, quote, if he wants to act like his father, let him look like his father. End quote. <laughs> Diana snatched it. All right, let's do a prayer. Um, oops, let's see. Uh, let's do a prayer. Um, prayer let the blind see okay uh, Lord let your healing okay Lord let your healing light fill my eyes that I may be able to see clearly and carry out my business without any inconveniences I worship you dear Lord and you visited this page <laughs> three times I visited it three times that's how much I've uh, um, 
take some of these squares okay let the blind see let's see here let's do this okay sermon at grace the meadow quote the meadow is where god often shows up unnoticed at first and begins to transform the structure of our world starting with our own hearts <laughs> look at the same thing we were just talking about uh harry the princess diana princess of heart and this kind of thing all right let's see here i pick another one because the other one was short i urge then first of all that petition prayers intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and all those and authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives and all godliness and holiness one timothy this all right let's see this one i do know one thing i used to be blind but now <laughs> i can see all right john 9 25 that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link in the description you could donate or you could join the membership all right so those who have donated and those who have joined i appreciate you and thank you for your support that's it